Greetings YouTube, Skill Incarnate bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back to another look at an early access game. And this time we are having a look at the new space sandbox game Gaia Beyond by Florian Richter and Tobias Offerman. In Gaia Beyond you are given complete free reign to do whatever you want in an open universe. Be a pirate, be a merchant, be a soldier. The world or the universe is there for you to explore. I've been following this game on social media for a while and I'm really honoured that the developers gave me a copy for me to try out and let you know what my thoughts are as we play the first part of the game together. Let's have a look. Okay, and as with all good RPGs, we have to pick an avatar. And insert a name. And then finally we have to pick a location. Now the location doesn't seem to affect the story and the game too much. There are some small differences, but I would really like to see the developer implementing a, a, an actual reason to pick one of the different planets. There, there doesn't seem to be an incentive to pick a different one. Our story is similar regardless of where we start the game. We're a colonist who has become... Uh, is, is gone out to space to seek their fortune following a, a, the outcome of a very large war that destroyed our family. So we have to talk to our, our instructor now. How does it feel to be free? It feels great to be in space. It certainly does. I remember the first time I took off from Earth. You're still young enough to have some adventures and I'm, I'm sure you will be. So we're going to, we're now going to do a very quick test. It's going to teach us the basic controls. If I don't, uh, if I don't run into my instructor while I'm doing that. Good job. I think we're getting used to the hang of it. I crashed into an asteroid. Okay, see that drone? It's a leftover from the machine war. Let's test your shooting skills. So we've got some very basic weapons. Nothing nothing to write home about. But we should be able to take this drone out fairly easily. You do have to target items. And the reason why you have to target ships and enemies is so you don't accidentally shoot other ships that you don't want to. You learn quickly keep going like this and you might overtake the old Oxillium one day. Be careful, there's way bigger threats out here than a helpless piece of debris. If you ever run into trouble, come and see me at the workshop. Okay. So we're going to go and talk to Zopa, which I'm assuming is the leader of the colony. There you go, and before I forget, you've got a quick bar at the bottom of your screen. It contains important information about your ship and surroundings. Inventory manages your ship, fairly straightforward, quest log, and character. Okay. So we're going to follow this guy back to our home base and hopefully pick up some quests and work out where we're going to go next. And I mean, this, this is a very big open game. You don't, uh, you don't have to do the, the main quest. You can go and do whatever you want, but... I, I often like to try and do at least the first part of the quest. The Caduceus is ordering you to stop your vessel. Wow, he looks pretty big. Have you had your blood examined yet? The area around Pluto is contaminated. The Ganymede flu is spreading and we are here to contain it. Ooh, that sounds pretty... Pretty nasty. Dr. Nortex is calling. He needs to see you immediately. Rats and dogs. The Doctor's project is of utmost importance. We no need to understand the full complexity of everything he says. Okay, so... Noob Henderson, okay. So he's going to take us back to the, the station. Shooting people wasn't part of the, sh the job description. Okay. So, Noob Henderson is going to make our life a little bit difficult. What a glorious first day at work. My wife told me to reject this offer, but the job is a job. Uh, look, let, let's try and be nice. Let me through. 
your persuasion, persuasion techniques are way too primitive. Begging like this won't help. Okay, man. You want to do this? You want to do this a hard way? That's fine with me. It's your funeral. So he's he's got a bigger ship, but uh, a, a, much to his namesake, he's not much of a shot. That being said, I'm not doing a very good shot. Uh, I'm not not uh, doing a very good job at aiming either. We'll see if we can get in behind him. You do have to lead a bit with your shots. Sorry, Noob Henderson. Nothing personal. Now, your weapons do overheat over time. My wife is right. I totally suck. Well, your wife is now a widow. My condolences. So that gave us a little bit of an introduction to the combat in the game. So we'll head in and see if we can... We can head back to base. And we'll have a chat with Zopa. I don't believe this one bit. Mr. Shiro can bite my wrinkled ass. No communications, no radar, nothing is working. So, basically, they're, they're making a lot of the colonists scared because this flu, whether or not it's, it's true or not, people are getting scared, as, as you imagine they would. I ran into the guys you were talking about. Be thankful I didn't shoot you. Put their ships down right on top of us. Mackenzie almost got squashed. Then they went on a, some kind of sickness spreading and wanted everyone to do some blood tests. Most columns didn't seem to agree. Well, most columns seemed to agree with him. Then one of the guards shot him. Teal is taking care of him. They shot his mechanical leg, but who knows if they even knew that. Guys with nothing more than thugs. Okay, let's see what we can do to help. The first thing is to get some information about what's going on. Caduceus planted some kinds of drones to prevent us from using communication and radar. We need to get rid of them before we can do anything else. Okay, there are a lot of pirates out there. Okay. So our goal now is to go and destroy these uh, these drones oh, I thought that was actually a uh, I thought that was a, a, a crate that I could pick up it's an actual ship so destroying more of these drones hopefully we can get some goodies from doing it yep we got some aluminium now you don't have ammo but you do have weapons that will overheat And these, uh, these ships will cough up a bit of loot when we destroy them. So I'm certainly happy with that. Got a little bit of aluminium, very nice. And back to base. Please, Ben, I've had enough of Chondros' hysterics. I need to get to the bottom of this and I can't work with him looking over my shoulder. He's the most sensitive idiot I know. I'm trying. I'm going to try taking him off your back as soon as I'm finished up here. We took care of the drones for you. You're welcome. Communications back up. Caduceus has planted a lot of these drones around the system. Can't take. Can't hurt to take them all down. I'm all. I'm all about that shooting and robbing. So, Ganymede flew. So basically. Okay, he, he, here comes the rub. They need some help. We need a blood test. That makes sense. And we also need a mining module and some aluminium to get things started. We can't stop working on this colony because some random guys are shouting about an epidemic. Well, yes, we can if it's a deadly flu, but okay. I think life's more important than profit, but uh, some some corporations may disagree with me on that statement. Alright, our, our goal is now twofold. We have to go and pick up a blood test kit from the nearby medical uh, medical station. And we have to go to the mining station nearby and pick up a mining module to help the colony continue their work. So let's go and do that now. 
All right, and we're back out in the depths of space. We need to first go and get the blood test kit, which will be in this nearby station. I'm the last guy on this ISA outpost. They don't care anymore. Recently also discovered some strange object outside the Kuiper belt on the Tannenhausen research station. I hope they don't forget to pay me. Okay, who is the ISA? The Independent Science Academy. It has been founded decades ago. The last leader was Dr. Purorius. Okay. So, blood test. Okay, the ISA is distributing these things for free. So that takes care of one of our objectives. It's time to go and get the mining kit now, and then we should be right to to hopefully get our get our ship upgraded, buy some goodies. I think I think we need some additional weapons on the ship. We might be able to loot them. Who knows? So we're on our way to the. There we go. The mining station is just up ahead. Now, one of the things I love in this game is you've got this living breathing universe there are other ships that are flying around there's pirates there's uh, there's merchants there's soldiers and they're just all doing their own thing and you can interact with them you can you can be a merchant yourself you can go and you can go and uh, attack the pirates you can even attack ships and be a pirate yourself so let's have a chat to our friend Cameron here uh, I'm in charge of the mining equipment Okay, we need a COC mining module. Uh, mining module and aluminium. You tell him the comrade ship is always willing to help, lending a helping hand, but we're not a charity. Okay, he doesn't. Let's see, you're playing the guilt card, that's not working. Alright, so how much do you want? How much is it? 600 credits. So we don't have 600. So it looks like we have to go and earn some money. Raiders of the Lost Spaceship. Um, Secret of the Ma Machine Skull. It's such an awesome flick, but the main actor was so stupid. Okay, this this guy sells stuff. Which, uh, which you can't really... We don't have much to sell at the moment anyway. Okay, and, and she's a merchant as well. Let's uh, let's have a chat with the engineer. I can only tell you what I told you yesterday. There's no Genom engine core in our storage, and there's no way we can get one anytime soon. I won't get off this Forsaken Station if I can't get an old Genom engine core. I'm stuck. Okay, buy one of our new ships. I can't forget about Matilde. That shuttle stood by me in times of need. Okay, so he's loyal to his his old uh, his old clunker, Matilde. I wonder if this guy it's really boring out here in the Kuiper Belt. We only produce and sell low tier weapons and shields. Even the pirates out there are no fun to play with. Let's see if we can recruit this guy. I've always wanted to see the universe. I want to change something. We might be able to come back and talk to him later on. Uh, what do you need? Who's Matilde? Here's my shuttle, my vessel, my travel companion. Okay, so yeah, there's not much we can do there. Uh, unless we can find the engine he's, he's looking for. Welcome to the Comradeship of Commerce. The best and only bar on Greece will remember the rules. No fighting, no trading in the bar, and no politics. Okay. So the chat to Dragon. Welcome to the Kuipers Belt Bar. Uh, information? Not much to tell. Greece was one of the most outer COC stations in the system. We mine and trade raw materials and resources. There's some problems with pirates, okay. Can you give me some money? Tesla over there might have a job for you. I think what his mineral mineral transports need protection. Okay. Let's uh, let's go have a chat with Tesla. What's the pay? 
some of Vasquez's pirates are waiting close by to get a hold on our latest mineral haul. Our transports need protection and the load is worth a lot. I'll pay you 200 credits for every transporter you can protect. We're in. Let's do it. So our next goal is to protect the transports. Let's go and, uh, and hunt down some pirates. Okay, and immediately leaving the station, we've uh, we've been held up by looks like someone from Caduceus. Did you destroy our satellites around Pluto? I did not have relations with those satellites. I did not ask anyone to lie, not a single time. I need to get back to work for my colony. I don't know what happened to those satellites. Anyone could have blown them up. How do you know it had anything to do with me? I'm innocent. Totally innocent. Unfortunately, that I don't think that line's going to fly. This guys uh, he's got a lot bigger ship than me. And it looks like he's got a lot better armaments than me as well. We're just going to have to chip away at his health. And hope that... Uh, there we go. We've nearly broken through his shield. The Ironically, the old circle strafe seems to be the, the best defense in this game. It doesn't always work against superior numbers, but against single ships... We're, we're chipping away these hull. Let the... Let my... Uh, oh, ouch. Let's try that again. Come around. His, his shield's recharging. I need to make this fast. His, his shield's a lot better than mine too. Ah, oh, damn. So this is one of the problems with the game that I wanted to mention. The when, when you're waving your mouse around in the midst of battle, you're going to inevitably accidentally hit your inventory or hit one of the keys at the bottom. Uh, I don't know how to solve that. It just seems to be a problem that I've encountered several times while playing this game. Let's see if we can take this guy out, do a bit of pain, deal a, a bit of damage. This ship is a lot bigger, a lot stronger than us. One shot takes nearly a third of our shields. So we've got, to, we've got to duck and weave. Serpentine, serpentine. He's nearly dead. I'm wondering if we kill him whether we'll get his uh, get his uh, high tech weapons or some of the some of some weapons of value, something better than the pea shooter we're currently fighting him with. There we go. We took him out. A ship much larger than ours. Oh, we got a support gun. Let's have a look at that. Uh, okay, so it's not better than the current gun we've got, but it looks like we've got another hard point on our ship. Nice. So we've got a uh, we've got an additional gun now. Double the fun. So let's uh, let's oops let's zoom out. Okay, our first mission is to the south. With the, with the extra gun we've got, we've probably got a better chance against the pirates. I would have liked to be able to upgrade my ship, but uh, I don't know what the pirates will be flying, but I imagine it'll be something better than the dinky little ship I'm using. But uh, they may have hardware, but I have skill. Transport one ready to go. Keep the pirates away from me, comrade. This one's pretty close to Greaseward, so I bet Vasquez will hold his men back for now. But watch out just in case. Okay, we'll do that. I want to steal some steal some of those goodies. So nothing yet. Great job, I'm safe. Do the same for my brothers, will you? Okay. So next transport is down to the south. Now I have to mention this uh, this particular quest was broken when I when I was playing this earlier, but it seems that they may have fixed it. Ready to go, preparing to have a nice cold brine at the bar. If this newbie keeps me alive, do not charge. The second transport is still too close. The captain said charge. Third squad. Oh come on, really? You why why are you attacking me? They they're attacking me in the middle of of the of the cutscene. 
luckily these ships are the ships are pretty squishy the pirate ships they're about on par with mine so that's okay let's uh let's make sure that he gets where he needs to go he's okay it looks like he's uh, he, his shield is recharged somewhat But yeah, I, I love this. Uh, I love this game so far. They've really got the feel of an open world down pat. There, you'll see their ships doing their thing. There'll be merchant ships flying around. There'll be mining ships mining these asteroids. There'll be pirates trying to rob people. And you can join any one of those factions. You can do what you want. You can be a, a merchant selling goods between the stations. You can be a miner trying to to gather precious materials. You can be a pirate. You can attack. You can attack your your uh, fellow fellow space travelers in in a attempt to earn money okay so next transporter where's that that is to the south now one thing this game is could really benefit from is some sort of light speed travel or at least something a bit faster than what we're currently using traveling between waypoints is rather painful so you've got a bit of a wait trying to go to the different areas. But uh, let's see how we go. Now we have to, we have to at the very least get three transports safely back to the, the station to earn enough money to pay for the mining equipment. Of course I'm going to try and get all of them, but... Transport three ready to go. This is my last tour before my vacation. Make it happen. Uh, attack with full force. Oh, these guys look tough. So we've got to... We've got to get in there and try and... we got to try and take this guy out as fast as we can. Oh, wow, they got me. It was three against one. We took him out. I, I did do my best. I was I was pretty heavily outnumbered there, and they run right past me in the midst of battle and went for the other guy. I should have I should have fired at all three ships and aggroed them. Anyway, I'm I'm hoping that didn't fail me the mission, but we'll see. Uh, is that a Okay, they they can do whatever they want. They're not a they're not a concern for me now. But I will take out these pirates here. So there is a, there is a bit of an art to this. It's one down. Luckily, my shields recharge pretty quickly. And unfortunately, their guns outrange mine by the look of it. That's uh, another pirate down. I just wonder if I failed that mission because that guy died on me. Anyway, I, I did my best. We got uh, we got two out of three. That should be enough. We we might need to pick up another mission to earn the money to to earn the uh, to make the payment for the mining module but hopefully that should be enough so yeah overall do I like this game it's it's definitely it has a it has the, the same sort of feel as games like homeworld and it does remind me of the the game way with Terran frontier which I looked at a little while ago and uh, in this uh, do I like do I like this better I think they both have their own unique feel. I think that they both have their place. Okay, so what we have to do is have a chat to this guy. Oh, really? But I did it. Where do I go next? Maybe I have to go up to the north here. Okay, let's uh, let's head up to the north. Now I'm hoping this quest isn't broken because I found that that if you let any of the transports die, 
it had actually messed a quest up on you and you'd lose it. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to finish it. Transport 4 ready to leave mining station. Okay. That's okay then. Go head on your way. I'll, I'll take care of this. I'll make sure these guys don't get to you. I'll do the best I can anyway. Oh wow, someone's got a, like a rocket launcher or something. Oh, my guns need to recharge. There we go. So those pirates are out of the way. We've got to go find whatever's shooting rockets at us. That's not going to be a fun fight. Oh wow, it's especially one rocket will, will take nearly all of our health. And it seems he can aim ahead a little bit. Thankfully his aim seems to be a bit off. I'm heading straight to the bar. Well, uh, good luck with that. I've got some business to take care of. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. He was he was hammering us with rockets and then just decided to go and shoot off wildly off into space. Okay, so I think that is everything. Let's uh, let's head back to the bar again. I would love some. I'd love some hyperdrive, some ability to move a little faster than what we are. It feels like a snail, snail's pace sometimes. Nothing further. No, I think that's it. Alright, give me some of that money. Good job, I'll pay you accordingly. Okay, so we should have enough money to pay our friend Cameron. Okay. Done. Okay, so we have a mining module. We need aluminium. You can get aluminium from any asteroid in the area. I'll even give you this old and rusty mining laser for free. Okay. So we now need to get some some minerals from the asteroids for aluminium. And we'll uh, chuck that on here. Can I? No? Okay, so I'll have to... There we go. So I've, I've respect my ship for mining. And hopefully now, with this mining laser, we'll be able to collect some aluminium. It's uh, somewhat more effective than using a... Somewhat more effective than just shooting the, the asteroid. You can do that as well, but you're not going to get much from it. Now we need 10 units of aluminium. We managed to pick up a little bit from destroying some of the asteroids. Oh, there we go. Aluminium. So this hopefully won't take too long. This this laser's range is woeful though. Aluminium. We need four more. So I guess while we do this, I'll give you my final thoughts on this game. Do I like it? Yes, I've really been enjoying the game so far. I think this game has massive potential. And as a fan of space exploration games, survival games, and, uh, and just sci-fi in general, I'm really looking forward to the developer's future work on this game. So if you guys have ever played a game like Homeworld and you liked it, if you've ever played a game like, uh, or if you played uh, Wayward Terran Frontier, then this game does feel very similar. It, uh, one thing it does that uh, I think that Wayward Terran Frontier doesn't is it does a fantastic job of showing this living, breathing universe, where, which is is hard to do in in most games. This this game does it masterfully. There's a lot of choice in this game too. Once we we lose the training wheels, that's when we'll get to. We'll get to do some really fun stuff. We'll get to upgrade our ship, buy some bigger guns. 
Okay, we've now got our 10 aluminium, so we better respec back to combat. In case we get attacked on the way back. So our goal is now to return to our home base. And we can use autopilot. I didn't mention that before. It doesn't make you go any faster, but it just lets you sit back and relax while you while you head back home. So yeah, definitely try this game out. I recommend this to everybody. I I think that if you're a fan of, of space games, a fan of open world games, and you like your, your games simple in terms of, of graphics, this will run on, on virtually any computer too. So if you're not running a, a powerhouse PC and you want to play something that's open world, then this is going to be perfect for you. It's time to see what our efforts have wrought. So some in the colony could be sick. I already told you, Chondros, I'm preparing a blood test. Your one doctor and Mr. Shiro looked so official. Caduceus is a big organization with high-tech equipment. You're not even listening, and what are you saying, just one little doctor? The ISA provided this place with up-to-date equipment. There could be something in our blood that your ISA techs and science can't even recognize. Something new you just don't know. I mean, he makes some really good argument. I mean, I if if someone come in saying that we're from the government and there's a, there's a virus, I, I wouldn't necessarily roll over for him, but I'd probably hear them out. Although, shooting someone in the leg is probably not a good way to negotiate. Okay, so... He's fine for now. The leg that got shot was a prosthesis. He lost that one during the war with the machines. Don't wake him up. Okay, we won't. So, we'll give the tests out. Okay, well, she's asleep. He's asleep as well. And Mackenzie, now he's the guy that got shot, so I think we'd better let him rest. Did you see Cameron? I still need that mining module. There you go. We're still defenseless and need to change that. We need the money and mining is the only way we can get some lousy credits out there. Okay. You would need a thruster to keep up out there. Rajid told me he left one behind at the memorial on Caron. Go and get it and pay Rajid a visit so he can upgrade your ship. Now we're talking. But in terms of having a first look at this game, I think we're going to leave it here. We've completed some basic missions. We've gotten a bit of an idea of the game. And hopefully this will give you an indication of whether you guys want to go out and get it. I definitely recommend it for anyone who enjoys space games like Homeworld and people who may have bought Vagabonds, uh, the game, the previous space game that I reviewed. And if you're looking for an, another open world space fix, then this will definitely scratch that itch. Highly recommend it. As always, leave me a like, leave me a subscribe if you're feeling kind. I'd love to hear what your comments are. If you bought this game, let me know what you think. And we'll see you the next time when I look at another early access indie game. Until next time, Skill Incarnate out.